I have been a member of the city bar longer than any other bar association. Served first on the Foreign Law Committee, 1966 to 1969, an appointment perhaps prompted by my co-authorship of the stirring volume, Civil Procedure in Sweden. Next assignment, the Post-Admission Legal Education Committee, 1970 to 1974, which changed titles from Pale to Lace during my tenure. After that, the Executive Committee, 1974 to 1978, during the presidencies of Cy Vance and Bill DeWin. One complaint cropped up regularly in those early days. There was only one women's bathroom in the building, down several steps from the lobby, and designed for one at a time occupancy. With women's increasing membership, that situation became intolerable and is now a long ending. The city bar was ahead of the curve in some respects. I received my introduction to Lexis on the premises in the early 70s. And as a member of the Post-Admission Legal Education Committee, I hosted the first program, acquainting city bar members with discrimination gay men and lesbians encountered in such matters as renting apartments, gaining employment, finding dental professionals who would serve them. After the executive committee, I served on the Sex and Law Committee, 1978 to 1979, and then on the Civil Rights Committee, 1979 to 1980, the year I was appointed to the DC Circuit. I delivered the Benjamin Nathan Cardozo Lecture in 1999, and was overjoyed when the City Bar established an annual lectureship in my name in 2000. My participation in City Bar endeavors has been diverse and richly rewarding. May I extend every best wish to the association for the next 150 years. <laughs>